This is the Bob and Tom Show. Welcome back. Thanks for joining us here in the Napa Auto Parts studios. There's our engineer, Ace Cosby. Uh, hey. this, Mr. McGee is across the way at the Omaha Stakes Sports Desk. Hello. Manning the organ and the guitar, it's comedian Pat Godwin. Hey, everybody. And Josh Arnold is over there at the as yet unnamed Sidekick Desk. Indeed. He is our... Uh, so what, what did we decide your new nickname was over there? The uh, Sidekick Bureau Chief. Yes, the, there we go. The yeah. Sidekick Bureau Chief. Uh, Chief. Uh, we have uh, Christy Lee, of course, at the Navy Federal Credit Union News Desk. Glad to have you back, Christy. Good to see you right now with your... Good to be here. ...glasses. Um, yeah, how long have you been gone? How about four minutes? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but, but she's back. Right. Oh, this is Tom speaking. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom program. We were talking about if we had to cast a movie for this show. Yeah, yeah. Uh, who would oh, be geez. what? Um, it's kind of interesting, actually. Um, uh, Ace Cosby, uh, Denzel Washington. Well, oh, how about that, well, Ace? Well, well, well. Well, that's uh, a young. complimentary. A young Denzel. A young okay, Denzel. Yeah. Okay. Denzel, not good enough. It no. has to be a young yeah, Denzel. Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is from Lori, by the way. Thank you, Lori. Um, uh, Chick McGee. Uh, uh, this is a really, a really goal, a bo- oh. bold and smart move here. Bizarre. <laughs> Nick Offerman as Chick oh. McGee. That, I think that works. That's yeah, not bad. that's not bad. It really mm. is strong. You disagree, Chick? <laughs> no, I like I like that couple, Megan Mullally. Sure, and, yeah, and Nick, yeah, and Nick could pull you off. That works. Um, I mean, pull off. <laughs> Sorry, that, that came off. Wrong. I like to talk to Nick about it first, but <laughs> yeah, maybe we could reach, Sorry, uh, I reach an agreement, a nice meal, and then he could pull me off. Uh, let's see. Uh, this is another strong one. Uh, Christy Lee, cute, adorable, blonde, and petite Reese Witherspoon. That sure, is yeah. I like oh, the way thanks. this is going. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Josh Arnold, <laughs> Brian Posehn. Oh, oh, that's interesting. Well, Brian Best known. What's Brian Best known for? Um, no. That you're much more handsome. Than you're Brian. much more handsome than Brian. Oh, Posehn. thanks, but uh, you know, but no, Brian, he, but he, he. Uh, Brian could embody. I'm sorry. I'm sorry the, excuse me, Lori. Uh, she, she says here, uh, they're both big, goofy, wear glasses, and have beards. Okay, right. Brian. But, oh, I'm trying to think why people would recognize Brian from what he was a Big Bang Theory. Yeah, he was. Brian, he's he was, on a ton of. I mean, yeah, yeah he's everywhere. A lot of sitcoms. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, for for years, truly, uh, uh, the suggestion, Kelsey Grammer. That's good. That's not bad. Although he has more hair than I do. Well, yeah, she, but there she, she points out. Yeah, but he does have that haughty sense of entitlement, superiority, and pretentiousness. <laughs> oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Uh, I like the, the Nick Offerman as Chick McGee is a strong choice. Yeah, and once again, a young <clears throat> right. Denzel for for, Ace, for <laughs> carbon Ace copy Ace. Denzel with George uh, Siegel. Uh, yeah. <sighs> Okay, thank you very much. Uh, and for Pat Godwin, uh, uh, <coughs> go ahead. Shelly Winters. They said. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. If I don't come back. <laughs> he's just as he's just as horny as Shelly was. Oh, I know that. Tell me about Man, that oh, book of hers changed my life. I read down. I had you. no idea. Hi, ladies. Have you seen my Instagram? Pat Godwin, 2019. <laughs> um, uh, this is just for Pat. It's uh, Todd Yon. Equally talented uh, singer. No, not even no, close. That's no, not even yeah. close. That is the oddest. It doesn't look no. anything. Todd looks break. like a Q-tip. Jeez. Yeah. Okay. Well, For starters, now let's find out about this. <laughs> What's this Lucky Charms story now, Christy? <laughs> Uh, Lucky Charms is releasing bags of just marshmallows. General Mills announced Friday that these seven-ounce bags will only contain vanilla-flavored marshmallows that are bigger and puffier versions than the ones found in their cereal, Lucky Charms. The treats are a collaboration with jet-puffed marshmallows maker Kraft Heinz. Magically delicious marshmallows, which are being marketed as a fat-free food, <laughs> come on, are expected to begin appearing in stores this month and will cost about a dollar fifty. Mm, I know marshmallows are fat-free, but plenty of sugar. Yeah. What what well, should they have done though? Oops, we made all marshmallows. That's right. Yeah, it's just Oops. like Captain Crunch did. Box them up. So it's Lucky Charms without the cereal. Right. Yeah. It's just the marshmallows. Well, that sounds pretty good I'm, to me. I'm not a big Lucky Charms guy. Are they? Oh, yeah. I like them. Care Kids for him. like them. Hello, Bob and Tom show. <laughs> hey, Bob and Tom, it's Donnie Baker. Oh, hey, Donnie. Donnie. Well, my prayers are answered. Oh. Yeah, these lucky charms, and it's all just charms. Uh-huh. I've been waiting for this my whole life. Have you? I swear to God. Well, we were so poor, Christy, we couldn't afford name brand Lucky Charms. Ah. My, my mom, Philly, she's tried to trick me about dicing up sidewalk chalk or Tums Ooh. and mixing them in my Cheerios. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah, yeah, next best thing to pea gravel. I swear to God. <laughs> but, but because most moms are natural food freaks now, I'll say it like this, even though this is the best thing ever to come out of Shark Tanks, no real mom is ever, ever going to buy these for her kids. Mm. 
But I can guarantee stepmoms and stepdads will be buying them. <laughs> Swear to God, when they're love and affection over. I wish they had these when I was 12 or 13 back when we could afford it. Because uh-huh. I'd have been making charm bracelets for my mom Phyllis a lot easier. Oh, sure. I, I, I used to make her charm bracelets by stringing up a bunch of Lucky Charm nuggets, yeah. and I'd needle it and thread them like I was making a popcorn garland for a Christmas tree. Oh, that's nice. nice. And, and back when you had to empty a whole box of Lucky Charms just to find enough marshmallows to make <laughs> one Lucky Charm bracelet, <laughs> it was hard. Hell, with these new marshmallow ones and all marshmallows, I could be making charm bracelets for days. Yeah. And my mom Phyllis loved the Lucky Charm bracelet. I make that a dream catcher. I used to make all of it, oh. and that's until one Christmas she had a little too much of my uncle Rooster's eggnog, oh. and she passed out. And she woke up to my cousin Tina's pet guinea pig gnawing away at her Lucky Charm bracelet. Oh boy! She comes. I swear to God, comes in. She sees this furry critter going to town on her bracelet, and all hell broke loose. She thought. Uh, Tina's pet guinea pig was a big barn rat, oh. and she Ugh. whacked it with the, one of them fireplace pokers Ugh. right in front of Tina and the mother grandbabies. Uh-oh. And our little feller was okay. He just limped it more after that. Uh-huh. But, you know, that's when my mom Phyllis just kind of like, came out of a shock and filled a bucket with throw up, and we went home. Oh, gee, honey. <laughs> well, Christy, it's still a good Christmas. Yeah. I got a, a new Huffy with mongoose tires and a real microphone. Oh. And my mom Phyllis got her first of three farm aid tattoos that oh, year. Oh, nice. Ah. <laughs> first of three, huh? Did I ever tell you about the one she almost got but backed out? No. What was that like? Uh, it was right above the money maker. She oh. had it all drawn up, even yeah. tacked out. It was called Molly Hatchet Wound. Oh. 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 Wow. Hey, that stays here. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Glad okay. well, yes. these are not. Oh, he, did he hang up? He did, yeah. He did. I would have oh, discussed it. Kind of a drop the mic moment, yeah. Um, so well, you can uh, certainly so it, see that these marshmallows are going to show up in desserts everywhere and snacks. And so it's, it's. I don't think you're supposed to just eat it like cereal. So the box says Lucky Charms, but it's just the marshmallow. It's actually in a bag. Like marshmallows oh, come okay. in a bag. Okay, I see. But they're the bigger, but they're the same magic. Magically delicious have you shapes. ever bought the uh, cereal in the bags for the kids? I have not. Mm. Have you? No, never have. Mm-hmm. Cereal in bags? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, generic, usually the generic stuff. brands. Yeah. Generic yeah. Man, oh, brand, you get them in a giant bag. Rice puffs. And they also money. do it at the fancy store where you go to because it's... I better on the environment to not have the boxes. You know, when you're over at the barrel there <laughs> making your own mucelics, <laughs> you know, putting your trail mix churning together. your own nut butter, you oh, know. I, I never use any of that stuff. I don't Mm. I, I never go to the loose anything. Oh, no, they're not loose. They're in a bag. You don't know? You've they're never in... seen a cereal in a bag before? No? I, just, I, don't, I only get about three kinds of cereal, and I always get in the box. Right. You ever use one of those cereal bins at a buffet? Oh, oh you mean have, at the hotel? Yeah, the cup at the bottom of the yeah. funnel yeah, oh, thing. Sure. Yeah. Scoop and oh, I'd never do that. <laughs> <laughs> you go to the, the omelet the... station, right? Is this... Aren't you just a media, isn't it? Just, well, yeah, as, as stale as I'd thought it'd be. Uh, yep. Are, do your kids eat cereal, Tom? Uh, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, are you kidding? What kind? Mm. Uh, depends on what day of the week it is. And do you true. ever make a waffle at one of those hotels? Oh, yeah. A continental breakfast, Tom? You ever do that? I never eat those. Yeah. Yeah. Of course you yeah. wouldn't. The con- and I'm, I've never, ever, ever in my life made coffee in a hotel room. Nor have I. I of course. Just go have down. you done that? Have you made coffee in a hotel room? I had room? coffee never, in the never. hotel room two weeks ago. It really? Does it now taste, they have Keurigs. Does it taste like uh, flight attendant's panties? Oh, because they have Keurigs now, a lot of That's them. That's right. They clean their panties in They there. just use yeah, the Yeah, but it's, uh, Tom's point is, I think it's... The coffee, it's still in the room? Is that but what you you're can't, trying to worry about? You okay. can't clean your panties in a Keurig. I you know what you can do? That song. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. but you know what you can do? <laughs> you can't take a s*** <laughs> in a cage. can't take a s*** in a barricade cage. can't take a s*** <laughs> Oh, no. Roger's doing oh, the one. Hey, Roger. Hey, Raj. Mine too. Oh, you got Couple it. issues, man. Yeah, First off, that's not going to get airplay. Second, no, no. we can Come on, change do what you're saying. Come we can. on. Um, yeah. You never, ever. You would never use a Keurig in a hotel room. I just, I don't. I wouldn't. I don't. I like to go down to the coffee shop and drink it there. I don't Make know. Make my own waffle. Maintenance. Is the butler on break? <laughs> Did you hear what he just said? I'm not high maintenance. Really? Yeah. That's oh. what you think. Wow. I just, I've been in hotels a lot. I'd never, ever want to use the, especially after I read that the flight attendants clean their panties in the, in the <sighs> coffee makers. Well, I, 
people wake you one up. One person it's told him too that. Too much work. Just go down. And, no, it, was, it, was, it wasn't one person. It was on the internet. It's got to be true. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and he's never going to get it out of his brain. You know what? Your daughter's a flight attendant. Would you ask her? I'm trying to. <laughs> Wait, that's awkward. No, uh-huh. Very I'm awkward. I'm torn. Yeah. He, he I'm can't torn go up to between... his daughter and go, where do you clean your pantyhose? I'm well, torn first between... of all, they don't wear pantyhose no, a lot of them. No, they don't wear them. pantyhose No. Anymore. I'm wow, torn between <laughs> asking her and wanting to know or asking her and telling her what to say to drive Tom crazy. I'm torn between yeah, the two, those two choices. I can see that. No, that's, I just don't Why stop at pantyhose? I don't want to hassle with making coffee in my hotel room. Yeah, it's such a hassle. Pantyhose was one of those, that was a weird garment. Yes. Like you'd see like pantyhose on a woman, you're like, oh, look at that uh, businesswoman, man. She's off somewhere. But if they had the slightest tear in them, you're like, look well, at that tear- skank. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, probably ripped never- those in haste. <laughs> <laughs> trying to give it to the bellman. <laughs> <laughs> I never cared for pant- nylon. Me neither. Never cared for them. Yuck. Guys don't like those, huh? Are they? No. Are they? I, I don't know. Are they? Are they coming those oh, eggs? I haven't owned pantyhose in. Pff, I can't remember. Would, would you buy the egg that yeah, had the legs, legs? They're legs, called legs. Legs. Yes. legs and the egg. Are those gone? No, they're not gone, but very few people wear them. Okay. Wow. Mm. I, I had no idea. Mm-hmm. These are dark days at legs, right? <laughs> <laughs> people get fired right and left. The, There's a lot it, of people with a lot of graphs. Was it the legs <laughs> people had to expand to leggings and other okay. options. Wasn't, wasn't the legs sort of the final line of defense <laughs> <laughs> for you ladies back in the day? <laughs> to get through the nylon, to get to the... Uh, okay. Sorry. Uh, by, by special request, if you want to make a request here in the Bob and Tom program, it's pretty easy. Josh, you want to explain how you could do that? Sure, yeah. Uh, go ahead and get the Bob and, Bob and Tom app. Uh-huh. You can uh, request whatever you like or text us at yeah. 888-262-8661. I get 10 cents per text. Whoa! That's a lie. That's Man, it feels like a Monday in here, doesn't it? Now, you could... Um, <laughs> Uh, you could just grab the Bob and Tom app. It's free at Google Play or iTunes. Then you can become a junior windbag, and you can uh, send us your comment. Or perhaps you want to help us cast the Bob and Tom movie. Here's what my brain is doing right What's now. your brain doing? Okay. I told you guys. Yeah, here. Ready? This is what it sounds like in my head right now. Well, what a day. <laughs> 15 <laughs> deliveries and one to go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with me, but I'm I'm lost. Okay. So well, we've, we've been trying to cast uh, if, if we were going to make a movie out of this show. Um, we just had a great suggestion, a, a, kind of a complete cast. Yeah, Lori did a good job. From Lori, um, suggesting that uh, Denzel as Ace Cosby. That is good, yeah. And then mm-hmm. you insist. I'll say it elsewhere, Denzel. A younger Young. Denzel, yes. Yeah. I would still go with Boris Kojo, though. Well, well sure. Well, yeah. of course you would, but. but... Boris, Boris Kojo, unfortunately, has been heard of by four people. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Kojo, and, and the one person. <laughs> so so that's where you're going to call him on blurting out stuff nobody's heard of? That's what you're going to do? Uh, yes. Um, oh, ladies and gentlemen, Den- Denzel Washington... Yeah. And his signature phrase from over the years. That's a brand name. I stand behind it. I guarantee it. If she'll be here, I guarantee you. Much more, I guarantee it. <laughs> and I can guarantee you that I will see to it that Harvey does not ignore that. Because I can guarantee you there isn't a bum on the street that looks as raggedy and ridiculous as what I'm looking at right now. I guarantee it. You are dead. <laughs> I can guarantee you peace of mind. You'll be back in the pool in 24 hours. I guarantee you. <laughs> I guarantee you that the, the, the police department, FBI... Without it, this neighborhood will fall. I guarantee it. Wow. But I can guarantee you this, Coach. I come to win. I'm going to find out the truth. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you you won't be lonely. It's amazing. I can guarantee you peace of mind. You're going to do some damage out here. I guarantee you. It ain't down there. I can guarantee you that. Someone wow. Somebody likes to guarantee Jeez. things. Yeah, but someone spent a lot. Can you imagine how long that took? No. To put together. <laughs> How long did it take, D? <laughs> <laughs> the internet, I think, mm. is guilty of. Wow, that's a lot of Denzel. Um, yep. Uh, once again, to cast the uh, the cast of, uh, the, this great suggestion of uh, Nick Offerman as Chick that McGee. Is good. And now here's Nick Offerman. What? No. Um, uh, someone suggests perhaps Jason Alexander as uh, or, Chick. Yeah. Why? Maybe with a wig. Jason Alexander. Maybe as Pat. From Seinfeld. Mm. What? Yeah, I see that more as off. Pat. Yeah. Give me a break. Uh, okay. Uh, well, Pat, who would you cast? As young a... Michael Keaton. <laughs> 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 the laughter from the from the crew. <laughs> yes. Out in the hallway. Out in the hallway. Well, there was that. There was that pause before. Yeah. We, that that pause. Of, are you kidding? Is, more, is there more coming? <laughs> oh my God, that was funny. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I mean, Michael, Michael Keaton now, maybe. <laughs> What? Pat? Well, hmm. you're not 22 anymore. What? Uh, 
Okay. I well, know. do you identify as younger than you are? Uh, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Only 10, 15 years. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Every time you, you ask Pat what his birthday is, and he gives you that Hollywood pause. Yeah. Uh -huh. when it comes to the year. Uh, the, uh, 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 seventy-seven. Uh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh uh, well. Um. Uh, you're looking good though, Pat. Feel uh, good. Your, Thank your you. Your hair looks nice. Let's move on. Let's see now. We're in the Nap Auto Parts studios. Check. Our bonus Ace Cosby joke of the day coming up. Check. Chick McGee across the way at the Omaha Steaks Sports Desk. Ugh. They need to change the name to Omaha Steaks and Great Burgers Desk. God, I had some good burgers. Mm. Yeah, barbecued them outside myself. Thank you. Did you really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I've been, well, I, bet, I bet that's quite the production. Oh, I've been cooking outside uh, off cooking the last... Cooking outside. I mean, I'm doing it all the time now. It's great. Do you urinate by the, uh, by the grill? By the dashboard lights? Of course not. <laughs> in, in the, the bushes. bushes. Oh, man. In the bushes? The only place I urinate at my house is on the east side of my house. East side? Why just the east side? Because it's hidden back there. And uh, you think. Do you, you, do you urinate much like Buddhists? Do you uh, urinate on the east side so the sun, when it rises, <laughs> catches the urine? Is How that, did you know? That's exactly it. <laughs> no, that's, I clam up the way your Buddha there. should face. if you and, and then I go in the hostess. Oh, oh, so oh, oh, here, don't eat it. Extra! Uh, 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 there's Christy. There's Hi. the lovely Jessica Alsman, the Hello. very, the very handsome. Thank you very much. Oh, Finally, someone picks nice. up on it, Josh. I appreciate that. I've been growing the beard out. I was already to do so. Yeah, then there you go. Thank you, Ace. <laughs> yeah. And there's Pat Godwin over there. Once again, in the Bob and Tom movie, Pat Godwin portrayed by Michael Keaton, Arnold Stang, a young Michael Keaton. Arnold Stang. Who's Arnold Stang? Stang. The, one of the thinnest, turtlest looking men. <laughs> I was trying to be. I was trying to be kind. Yeah. Back to you. I'm not. Taking any questions oh on this story. Oh boy. Why not? <laughs> the Ohio State University yes. has filed a trademark for the word the. Oh, what? Come on. <laughs> come on. The filing made six days ago indicates Ohio State is offering a brand of the Ohio State University clothing. Just the? Or is it going to say the Ohio State? It's going to say the. It's going to say Oh, I'm sorry. I have to question. So it there might be the. No, well, yes. What am I? I can't answer. So the trademark is the Ohio State University. No, I think the trademark is application on the word the added to the. No, name. the Ohio State University has filed a trademark so, application on the word the. So the European city, The Hague, is now just going to be known as Hague unless, unless they, they want to pay money to uh, the I Ohio State. Also, a Miami University, the Hurricanes. They they're the the U. They say that quite often. Man, well, I, I the band know. the the is already threatening to sue <laughs> the the right the the is that one of the worst band the, names the? in history? Yes. Absolutely, yeah, that yeah we did we needed to compile our top ten terrible band names. That's oh, we'd be here. There's a lot of them. That's, mm -hmm. that's way up there. Uh, well, good luck to them. Now, is uh, you you almost matriculated to the Ohio State University? Yes. Or is it the or the? The Ohio State University. Remember the, the okay, okay. There's a vowel after the mm -hmm. a vowel sound. You're supposed to say the instead of okay. the. Okay, thank you very much. You're supposed to say the, the instead da, of the. Da, okay. Now, are we going to do our uh, white claw tasting uh, next week? Is that the plan? Next sure. week, I'll bring them in tomorrow. Next I've got week, everything. no, no I want to get every flavor. Oh, I have every. Come on, Tom. let's just <laughs> do it. <laughs> let's just have fun and do it instead of uh, wringing the waiting. fun out of it. Tom, for a week. Thursday. Tom, I have every flavor in my refrigerator right now. I have. Is it in a can? It's a variety pack. It's in a can, yes. Uh, okay. Anyone want to take this joke? No. Uh, Christy, is that how you like it in the can? Like no, I don't like it in the can. I pour mine in a glass. Thank you. Ooh, that's, oh, that's harsh. Yeah, that's, uh, wow. I'll do it. Hope it's tapered. Hope no, it's tapered. Uh, we're going to have to wait a week, though, because we have to get <laughs> No, I'm going to bring them in tomorrow. No, we have to get special lighting. No, nope. uh, a, a man to no, hold the can. And, uh, I want right to I want to write some songs for it. All right. We'll take a fairy white room, a little song, a little dance. A little white claw in my pants. Oh, my we'll Lord. We'll open with that one. No, 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 thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> well, we can now. He's already done. So he's got Helter <laughs> Seltzer. Uh, <laughs> white room, white, white claw. White room with the cream. Right. So you've already got it done, so we can do it tomorrow. It'll be Bring fine. Bring him in, Christy. I'm, I'll go and buy some today, too. I think everybody should. I'm not spending a penny on this. <laughs> Wow. Is that well, wow. very El Cheapo? <laughs> well, uh, not for five percent alcohol. I'm gonna go get that PBR stuff at eight percent. Oh yeah, I, like right. I don't know if that's out yet. Is it out now? Oh, here? I'll find I don't think it's out yet. But what's interesting to me is I, I did not know this. I was asking if if White Claw was marketed to women because that's why I keep hearing about it in the context of yoga pants and White Claw. 
But then the PBR is deliberately marketing to the men, bro, the bros, and, as you say. Smart idea. Well, and, do you know how many guys drink vodka soda? That's a lot of people. Natty Light, do. too. Natty Light has a... This tasting, we yeah. also, all of us wear yoga pants as we do it. Okay. <laughs> Tom, this includes you. I have a pair of those. You do? Well, kind of. They're, what's that place called? <laughs> Lulu Lemon. Lululemon. Yes, I had to buy a pair to travel. <laughs> you... Wait a minute. You, you own yoga minute. pants and you've worn them. Well, they're not really, they're from the, the logo lemon or Lulu Lula Lula lemon. lemon. And yeah. you traveled in them? Yeah, I had to get a pair of pants that had a zipper pocket. Why? What? What? What, yeah. what are you <laughs> saying? Why are you traveling? <laughs> yeah, because it, when I was traveling somewhere, it was super hot, but I don't like wearing shorts on a, I don't like wearing shorts anyway. I don't like wearing shorts on a plane, so. So you wear your pajamas? Of, they're kind of baggy and loose, and you pull them up, no? Okay, so they're there not tight. There was a time like when pants. that's all you wore was cargo shorts. Well, then and were, you were told not to wear those anymore. I used to love my car <laughs> shorts. <laughs> Josh, remember when you remember that car you used to have that you'd love to have back? <laughs> sure, you know. sure. Wouldn't you like to be a billionaire and go buy every car that you'd ever had? Not just the make and model, but the car. <laughs> you go to the junkyard and find that 71 Pontiac Le Mans. Yeah, probably still DNA in the back seat. <laughs> <laughs> or in your case, Josh. Oh goodness. Uh, on the ceiling. <laughs> uh, let's uh, move on. How do we get to this? Um, did you, are we going to do the tasting or not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. Tomorrow. I, I I had the one I didn't care for, but I'll try all the other flavors. Tomorrow because it'll be fun. It'll be instead yeah. of a waiting a week and everybody well, getting I, I've got it in my calendar. I'll bring them if you don't yeah, want to drink yeah, them. Yeah, we don't drink. How much? How big is the can? They're small. They're skinny. They're like a Red Bull can. Well, is there going to be enough for everyone to taste every one? <laughs> yes. Absolutely. You really think we're idiots, what? don't you? <laughs> do you <laughs> you don't. really, really do. Well, we're going to have a tasting tomorrow, Christy. Well, I brought one I can. brought one can. I knew it. If I didn't rein, rein this in, there'd be a problem right there. What's wrong with you? Okay. There are other people with brains. But we have to have enough. Everybody can have a nice, you know. There's a, it's a yeah. You're not going to taste it. What do you care? I'll taste it. It's a six pack of, or 12 pack or whatever. It's a variety pack. I well, don't know how many have, are in obviously it. Obviously, we're going to have to get more than that. I'll, give, see, I'll, I'll give you some cash on the way home. Buy some more. Oh, my God. How the many do you need? Tasting. The 38. I, it's, I think, <laughs> see, I, I was trying not to say it out loud. Obviously, Chick's going to be downing. You know the, his idea of tasting. It's like that great scene, in the, the great scene in the movie Sideways, where he goes, oh, oh, "Can I get another can I get pour? pour here? Can I get another pour over here?" It's a twelve pack of twelve ounce mm. cans. That's not enough for a tasting. Okay, buy three. Uh, when we come back, we're going to find out more about uh, the world of cannabis. Um, and the, the, uh, we have our pumpkin spice tribute yeah, coming absolutely, up. Absolutely, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, I'm very, very excited about Whoa, that. Do. Once again, the new, the new uh, <laughs> seasons, and we have a whole generation being raised. What's autumn, mother? Uh, that's when pumpkin spice comes up, sweetie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom.